It builds up every single time you take a step forward. You, you felt like you had to do the right thing. That moment at that time, everything builds up from there. The Rewanga Youth Group started with just a few. My sister was uh, part of the committee and they had this meeting at home and she asked me if I had a comment towards the meet. I was like, no, I don't have any comments. Why should I? I don't even get what you're doing. You know, I was giving all that negativity. And she said that you will never know until you try. And I was like, well, if you insist, I would just like to say or add towards something that they were talking about, the fundraising that was coming up. Uh, the following week they had the meeting, they invited me again. And then it was like, you have to come to this meeting because we think that you might have some qualities that will just benefit this group. One year later, I became a member. And then another thing you know, I am president. What do we do? We do trainings, workshops, we hike. But most of it, it's just like um, to know each other better, to know one another, more like knowing yourself and who you are and what you want to be. I learned responsibility is a huge thing. You need to know, you need to learn from others, you need to act towards what you know. It was really wet, it was raining, and I knew if we're gonna go down, we are so gonna go down with rocks just touching our skin and scratching our skins, and I felt really scared. But then it just came to me, you know, you have got to do this. Eh? You have got to demonstrate something. You know it, just do it. You know, I let fear aside from then on. Put it aside took the rope, tied it, then we used it as we went down. You know the feeling when we get when you just did something incredible and everyone will be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. And they'll be like, and then be like hugging you and then I'm gonna name my first baby after you, something like that. You know, it was just extraordinary. <laughs> it was an extraordinary time for me. You just gotta know when you have to get in there. like. I don't know if it's instinct or what, but you just know you can do it. You can, this is your chance. You, you gotta step up, you gotta do this. And then automatically, you know, it just, it just makes you do it. And from there, you get to teach someone else that someone else will stand on that same spot that you're standing on. And maybe you can become a legend. Whenever we have these meetings, we, we always, um, invite someone to say something uh, okay most of the thing most of the time we we get together we normally have grace yeah? so we invite someone someone new every time someone new has to do it and then when we choose they be like you know trying to dug and trying to hide somewhere else and then you just kill it trying to pick out that person hiding from you there. can you come out and pray and then you know it's kind of funny in a way but then from there, you need to build their confidence. You help them build that confidence, not just them and them alone. Because once they do that, they said yes, they prayed, they, they did what they, they were asked to do. Then the pile started to come up, come up. So in every, in every time you create that, confidence rebuilds. And that confidence leads to a better person. Don't let fear interrupt you from doing something um, that you love. Keep on doing things that you want to do and pursue further because at the end of the day, you will reap what you've sown.